Explorer Josh has been called out for faking his paranormal videos. Well, has he? Because it's severely backfired. And there's another paranormal investigator who's also in the firing line from other paranormal and debunking channels. But hang around till the end of the video to find out who that is. Explorer with Josh is one of the biggest creators in the exploring and paranormal niche. Boasting over 4 million subscribers, he's really made a name for himself on YouTube. Though often quite a calm and collected individual, Josh has made an out of the ordinary post to his Instagram story on the 7th of November, where he seemed more upset than usual. The story starts out with Josh explaining that one of the online debunkers is trying to make a quote expose video on him. So this random online debunker, uh, he's a content creator, who knows which online debunker it is. He's trying to like catch me in a lie or something with the, with like the Henry Derby house in the Salem with the hat man. Uh, whether it was a demon or a ghost or an angry spirit or not, it was our video. That's the video where um, I had the headphones on, I'm doing the SD session and I couldn't breathe and I ran out the house and I was with Colin, if you remember it. Well, so whatever this online creator is, goes and messaged the owner of the Airbnb property and shows him my video. And this is what he says. So I'm showing you the post. I'm gonna show you what he says to the owner. And, I'm, and, I, and this is the owner messaging me after. But inevitably the homeowner sent the conversation to Josh and as a fan of what Josh had done in his content, was reluctant to play a part in the debunkers video. And Josh backs this up by showing the conversation he had with the homeowner after the video was made. So, what happens next? The owner of the Airbnb messages me and he's like, hey Josh, I seen your video and I found it very entertaining and I thought it was really good and it freaked me out. The, it totally ignored the debunker about the Airbnb and the demons and this and that. This guy's just trying to get attention, trying to grow off of me, trying to use us for views. And this guy totally backfired and don't, I don't even know this owner by the way. And I actually didn't get permission by the owner to film this Airbnb property, but he claimed the house was haunted. Everyone in, in Salem, a lot of people says this is one of the most haunted places in Salem. So I said, hey, I'm gonna go film it. I booked it with Colin, we filmed it. So then the owner goes and messages me and says, again, this is, this is cool, this is freaky. I thought this was great. Um, and I wanna tell you about my experiences. And here is the proof, by the way, on this. Josh then goes on to talk about how he feels baseless accusations that are made by these debunkers can ruin the paranormal, as it leads to everyone speculating that everything is fake, regardless of whether it's been proven to be fake or not. And he also touched on the current situation with Cody and Satori. So there you go. That's me just showing you the pictures right there of the owner himself. Totally, totally that debunker got backfired. And that's the thing. It's like, this is what we're in now. It doesn't matter who you are, everyone's gonna call you fake, no matter what evidence you get. It doesn't matter, everyone can debunk. It's like there's these channels online that makes debunking videos, and they're saying, yeah, the REM pod could go off because of this. Oh, this door could move because of this. But that doesn't mean in our videos, that's exactly what we're doing. And it's making these people believe that every video's fake now. So now the paranormal field is getting more destroyed and more fucked up than it ever was before. In the end, and this is what I tell people, it's your opinion. If you want to believe it, you can. If you don't, it doesn't matter to me or anyone else, especially on YouTube that are online creators. No one gives a fuck. It's just crazy how things are going right now, honestly. Like, and, and here's the other thing, right? Let's go on with the Satori and Cody thing. Right? Now, it is my opinion for Cody and Satori that if I believe or not, that's my opinion. I said in my video, I think it's real and I believe. That's my opinion. Does that mean I'm faking anything? No, I'm just filming what they're doing and what I think is real. If they come out to be the biggest fraud or a scam, then they were. But that doesn't uh, go back to me. I didn't think so. They scammed me too. Obviously, I, again, I don't know what to believe. I think, in my opinion, they're real. Could they be wrong? Maybe, but that's everyone else's opinion if you want to debunk it. Now, moving forward, it doesn't matter. I don't really give a shit or anything about that. Moving forward, it's just about in general with every video. I have like 200 fucking ghost videos that have a lot of views and a lot of cool stuff and a lot of cool stuff that happened all real do you believe or not i don't care i really don't care it's just it's just amazing where things are going now anyways going forward going really forward i'm super excited to release the next series things are going good and i'm and if any of you debunkers are watching this i will say i have two favorite debunkers i do like the shape and i do like side-eyed guy so if it was side-eyed guy that sent that message then i don't know why i mean that's weird 
because you are my favorite, but The Shape, you're my favorite too. You guys keep doing whatever the hell you're doing. It do I don't care. I don't care. When you guys make these videos or do what you got to do, all it's doing is giving us more views anyways. But I actually do watch you two. You're the only two debunkers I actually like or watch. And I actually have a great time laughing. Like I do. I think it's, it's entertaining. You know, exactly how you might think our videos are. You know what I mean? I, I generally am a good sport about it. And I enjoy it. I've been on YouTube for 10 years. I've seen it all already. I had everyone say everything about me they can say in the last 10 years. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, hey, you guys do you. Get your views, do what you want to do. It doesn't bother. The next series coming out though, the series is going to be epic. The Black Forest series. Not the standard ghost video like the rest. We have adventures, thrills, uh, you know, hopping onto boats to get to some other sides to, to vet investigate. Islands, lakes. Um, abandoned places, everything's great. We're dropping so much content over the next two months and it's going to be super exciting. And to be honest, I'm getting so bored of just filming around the US in the standard ghost videos. I can't wait to just keep doing a bunch of stuff. I wanna bring back documentaries. I wanna go to like all these towns where like creepy stuff has happened and document it. Um, it's not even ghost hunting. It's just telling stories and, and about them or about these people and then moving forward about what, what's going on now and later in documentaries. That's what I want to do. That's how I started. I'm still doing it. Um, I'm enjoying the hype right now. Honestly, I'm enjoying this. This has been great. Oh, and one more thing, by the way, I never film at Airbnbs. I don't care to. And people who film at Airbnbs, they're just creating and making up fake stories. So I don't do that. I only went, that Airbnb I went to is called the Henry Derby House, and that actual Airbnb is all over the internet as being haunted, and people all around Salem say it's haunted. I only go to places that has at least story of places that are haunted. I'm not booking Airbnbs going to them. Watch my videos. And whoever made that post, again, you were wrong. As of yet, we are not aware of who this specific debunker is, and with none of them stepping forward to own up to it, it's left a lot of speculation as to who it could have been. With a lot of people pointing the finger at the channels that have already made attempts to contact homeowners, like when Mindseed fell victim to this a few weeks ago. But what do you make of this though? Is contacting the homeowner a fair thing to do, or do you think it's taking it a step too far? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that down in the comments below, because obviously I've got my opinions on it, and personally, I feel like it strays out of the realm of just the content that people claim to take issue with. So at that point, you're not just attacking the content, but you're attacking the creator and their career. As if this wasn't crazy enough, Kalani Ghost Hunter has also come under fire in the past few days, but not by a debunking community, but a fellow member of the paranormal community, who didn't just take a jab at Kalani, but also twin paranormal. On the 8th of November, Kalani took to X to another great example of people in the debunk slash paranormal community using the R word, doubling down on using it, and then accusing Twin Paranormal and I of faking. Josh had someone do it yesterday, and now I'm dealing with it today. Just sad. Followed by a screenshot of the conversation thread. In the thread, Kalani leaves a comment stating, Spectral Paranormal Investigations. Did you delete your previous comment because I posted you using the R word to put down Zach Ari? Here it is again. Stop worrying about the thumbnails and learn what you should do, what you should or shouldn't say to someone. And then within the thread, you can see that this person has used the R word against people. Sexual Paranormal Investigations then responds by saying, Kalani Ghost Hunter, yes, it's a word, I use it. Doesn't mean I'm making fun of handicapped people, girl. Make sure you dive in there and fake your evidence. Maybe you should team up with Twin Paranormal and have a fake fest. This again goes to show that some people in both camps of the community are more than willing to take things too far when it comes to trying to bring down these larger paranormal channels. But I ask you, where do you think the line should be drawn? Do you think that what is going on in the paranormal and the bunker community at the moment is acceptable? Or do you think that there are specific parties that are taking it too far? Genuine question, actually. I obviously have my thoughts and opinions as stated before. I personally feel like going into the homeowners and trying to contact these people to try and quote unquote expose these channels does take it a step too far and it doesn't just attack the content that people claim to have issue with because if that was the case you would only highlight the video instead these channels are starting to target people specifically and potentially trying to bring down their careers and sadly after discussing this with a lot of the bigger paranormal community 
members um, in terms of channels, the sentiment is the same across the board with a lot of channels thinking that actually things are starting to get a little bit out of hand and things are starting to get a bit more personal than just the content that's being attacked. But with all of that said though, I hand it over to you guys. What do you make of this? Do you think that what's going on is completely fair, completely justified? Have your say down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it because you might differ to me. You might show me a different perspective and I'm all game for that. And while you're down there, be sure to jump to get the hell out of that like button if you have not already. Subscribe if you are new and tickle my little bell so you get notified whenever we upload to this channel as there's a lot going on in the paranormal community at the minute. A lot of drama, a lot of tea to be spilled. And this is the channel that's going to deliver that. So with all that said, I hope that you guys have enjoyed. And until next time, I'll speak to you later. Peace.